Well, hey y'all and welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you are new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and today I have a what I ate for lunch this week. I was off work so I've got four super easy lunch ideas to share with y'all. Now all my dreams are coming true. I just want to put my hands on tight. Dance with you all night. Move to my favorite song. So to kick off today's lunch video, we're going to be making a good old classic BLT. I feel like everybody on earth has probably had a BLT at some point in their life and I don't see how you can go through the summertime and not have one because we have at least one every week. <laughs> so all you'll need is some bacon, some lettuce, and you can also use like a head of lettuce but I've got the shredded kind. You also need a tomato, some mayonnaise, and some bread. So right here in my pan I'm just putting my bacon in there to cook my bacon up. So to cook bacon in case you are a new cook and you just don't know how to cook bacon or whatever i do let it cook for about five to ten minutes on one side and then i flip it over and let it cook on the other side for about five or ten more minutes and just keep i just kind of keep flipping it as long as i want it to cook but i do like mine pretty firm whenever i'm making blts so this is how it will look once it's all done all right so now that my bacon is all done we're just going to dice up our tomato and we're going to cut it into slices And then you don't have to toast your bread, but I always like my bread toasted. So I'm just going to throw some bread in the toaster and get that toasted up. And I'm going to be using a three slices of bread. So on each three slices, I'm going to add a little bit of mayonnaise. I'm going to rub that on there on my bread evenly. Sorry if you hear that, y'all. It's raining and thundering outside, but I'm trying to make this video for y'all. So ignore the thunder in the background. But anyway, I'm rubbing my mayonnaise on my three slices of toasted bread. And then I'm going to add my bacon on the bottom piece. And then I'm going to add... Um, the third or the middle layer of the sandwich then i'll add a little bit more mayonnaise on top of that piece of bread and then i'll add my lettuce and my tomato and then put the top of my sandwich on there and i'm going to cut it in half there you have it a good old blt you could pair this with some french fries or some tater tots or even some chips but i'm just having a plain old blt on this day like i say i was keeping it light because it was lunchtime. moving right into the next lunch idea um we're going to make some noodles and tomatoes or as we say here in the south some noodles and maters so in my pot right here i've got some large seashells with some water coming to a bowl and then once my noodles are done i don't drain the water off them or anything i leave the water in the pot and then i'm going to add my three cans of petite diced tomatoes I am making a whole bunch on this day because it was me and my three kids and then my little brother here that were eating. But of course, you could cut the recipe back if you needed to. But anyway, once I got all the tomatoes added in there with the noodles and the water, I just kind of let that go on simmer for a little while. And while it's simmering, I start to add my bacon grease and my salt and pepper. I promise you, you definitely want a little bit of salt and pepper. I know not everybody has bacon grease on hand, but I always keep my bacon grease. So I always have a jar full of bacon grease. So I'm just going to put just a little bit in there and it comes it, it gives it a little bit of a bacon flavor which makes it taste really good to me. But of course, you don't have to add that. You can omit that, but just make sure you add some salt and pepper. Now, of course, y'all seen me use um, canned tomatoes, but what makes noodles and tomatoes such a good summertime lunch or even a dinner, or you could even use it as a side dish, but what makes it so good is that during the summertime, you can get unlimited amount of fresh tomatoes that are coming in the season, and it was really good with the fresh tomatoes as well. 
but I just had can tomato, so that's what I used in today's video. But here it is once it was all plated up. And every time I make this, it always takes me back to my childhood because my nanny used to make this for me all the time. Moving into the next lunch, we're going to be making a chicken salad salad. And to make our chicken salad salad, you'll need some lettuce. And I'm just using that shredded lettuce that I used earlier with my BLTs, a tomato, and some hot popping chicken salad that we actually make at my work that I had brought home with me. And if you're ever in Georgia and you need a good old restaurant, make sure you message me and I'll tell you where to come because we have the best southern cooking in town i promise you so you also need some shredded cheese i'm using the queso quesadilla cheese but of course you can use whatever kind of cheese you prefer and i'm also going to have some cloths and pickles as well as some raspberry vinaigrette and once again you can use whatever kind of dressings that you prefer as well but in my bowl i'm just adding them adding in if i can talk my shredded lettuce and then i'm going to dice up this tomato and i'm going to cut it into dices throw that on top of my lettuce and then i'll throw my cheese on top of that and then i'll just kind of put my cloth and pickle on the side and i'll scoop me a scoop of chicken salad in there as well but i will be using crackers for my chicken salad i'm not going to actually eat it on the salad i just kind of have the chicken salad on the side of my salad anyway you'll see in just a minute my concoction of chicken salad salad so i feel like salad is one of the lightest the coolest lunches that you could have during the summertime but i just could not resist that hot poppin chicken salad that i had brought home from work it does have jalapenos and shredded cheese and stuff like that in it and it's oh so good with those crackers but here's my salad moving right along into our last lunch for this video is going to be adult lunchable pizza so i think i shared this before over here on my channel but i'm just going to use these like mini stone fire non rounds as well as some pizza sauce and i've got some butter i'm going to also use some garlic powder and some shredded mozzarella cheese so if you can ever remember having lunchables as a kid this is what they taste like exactly just like lunchable pizzas so all we're going to do is spread out our little non bread rounds we're going to rub some butter on them then we're going to sprinkle on some of that garlic powder and then we'll go on with our pizza sauce and then we'll go on with our mozzarella cheese i'm not putting any toppings on there just because i'm pretty basic but you could add pepperoni you could add black olives bell peppers pineapples you know whatever you like on your pizza you could add on to these they're yours and it's your kitchen so you can make them however you like them So once I got through adding all my toppings onto my pizzas, I just popped them in the microwave for about a minute. And then this is how they looked once they come out of the microwave. But y'all, this is a fun summer idea to get with your kids in the kitchen and everything like that because my kids really enjoy making them as well. But they're also good and it takes me back to my childhood as well. But y'all, that's it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed this little lunch video. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up before you leave and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you all in the very next one. Bye y'all.